The story of Mamma Mia, here we go again. There are two stories. There are two twin stories. We, uh, there's the story of um, Sophie, Amanda Seyfried's character, um, dealing with the reopening of the hotel and all the ensuing problems and who's going to come and who isn't. And uh, simultaneously, we're flashing back to the story of uh, young Donna, Meryl Streep as a young person, played gloriously by Lily James. Uh, how she... Uh, it's the, it's the origin story, basically, that we know from the first film of how she came to meet the three men, all of whom could be the possible fathers of Sophie. It's ironic because the movie seems to be about a relationship between, you know, women and men and a father and a daughter. And Meryl, the first movie is obviously about Meryl and her love life. But actually, I think the strongest thing that comes from it is a film about motherhood and about being a daughter and about having female friends and about sisterhood. I've, I loved the fact that it has so many of its leads are female. They have such strong bonds on and off screen. It was a privilege to work with them all. Music of Abba continues to entertain because it's wonderful music, because it's timeless. It's just, it's, it's perfect pop and that will always live on. In this case, there was only one person. I wrote the part for Cher. Every time we talked about it, every time we tried to formulate a plan B, I was like, no, I'm sorry, no, it's just her. It just has to be her. No one else quite worked in that way. There's some other amazing names on the list, but there's only one name that is more amazing than all the others. And so I just refused to contemplate her saying no. And uh, astonishingly and gloriously, uh, she said yes. And then even more astonishingly, she was so much uh, even more than I thought she would be on screen and off.